is up guys it's been a little while since i posted but i'm coming back with a bang i have a convention video for you guys i went to monster mania 47 in cherry hill and for those who don't know i'm a really big monster mania supporter i've been to every single show that they've done since 2019 they did they usually do three shows a year but this year i think they're doing four they did the little malls of horror in may and then they're, they just did this one next month they're doing one in maryland and the month after they're doing one in hellentown something like that i don't know being that i went to a con i have a few things to show you guys mostly autographs but i also picked up one funko pop you might notice that behind me a lot of my posters are missing and that's because i actually got to add some more signatures to those posters but let's start off with the non-autograph thing first up we have a funko pop of james gunn who directed Slither, The Suicide Squad, and there's only 500 of them. So this is definitely the rarest pop that I have. And I spent a pretty penny on it. This one I bought before I went to the con. I went to a store that isn't too far from Cherry Hill called Alternate Dimension Toys. It's kind of a tradition for me to go every single year to Alternate Dimension Toys before I go to Monster Mania, just because of how much stuff that they have. They have countless amount of Funko Pops. And honestly, I get lost in the store every time I go and I spend like, an hour and a half looking just for stuff to buy but i went with this this was i think it only cost me 300 something which it sounds like a lot but when he's worth 400 and there's only 500 of them it's not that bad so yeah i'm really happy to add him to my collection and uh, as you can kind of see i'm an out of box collector but this is the first ever fungal pop i bought that i'm keeping in the box now let's move on to the autographs and let's start with the first person i actually met at the con amanda beers from the movie fright night if you don't know who Amanda Bierce is, she was also in Married with His Children, but she played Amy Peterson in the movie Fright Night. And she wrote to Cameron, then signed Amanda Bierce and wrote her character name, Amy Peterson. Uh, and she was kind of making fun of Chris Sarandon, who signed right here, who was at Monster Mania Con, but I actually met him back in 2018 at Boston Fan Expo and had him sign this. So this is my second signature on this poster. And I think it looks really cool. It's kind of a dark poster and she signed in black, but you can see it. So I'm not gonna complain. I think that was really cool. She was $30 an autograph, which for someone that was in more or less every single episode of Married with Children, a huge TV show, and also in Fright Night, which is a big horror movie at a horror con. That's not that bad at all. She was really nice. The, uh, the kind of weird thing was at her table, there were three women, including herself, all of them around the same age and wearing face masks. So I didn't really know which one was her until I handed the money to someone and she's like, oh, hand it to my handler. And I'm like, oh, I just hand it to Amanda Pierce. But yeah, she was really nice. And I really am happy that I got her on the poster. The next person's autograph that I got was Chris Durand, who's Michael Myers and my personal favorite Halloween movie. Yes, more than the original one. I absolutely loved H2O. He wrote, Cameron, I'm coming for you. And then he signed Chris Durand. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I would have to say H2O was easily my favorite of the franchise. And I think that's a really cool picture. I was gonna go with the one that he had a picture of when he's staring through the window at Lori, the circle window in the door. Um, but I went with this one. Maybe that was a bad mistake, but I think they both look cool. And I also got a picture with him. He was $40 in autograph, but you got a free picture. And honestly, I'd rather it be $40 in autograph with a free picture than $30 and $10 extra for a picture, which that might sound weird that I'm saying that, but at cons, that's usually what it is. So when it, it I, I like getting a free uh, selfie too. The next person that I got is probably the biggest person I met at the con. Martin Cove from the movie VFW. If you don't know Martin Cove by name, he's also Kreese in Cobra Kai and the original Karate Kid. But my favorite thing that he was in was VFW. And he signed Martin Lu Sensei Cove, which I think is kind of funny because he's not a sensei in this movie, but I think just every single autograph he signs, he signs sensei. He was $50 in autograph, which I honestly don't think is that bad for someone that as popular as he is right now. Cobra Kai is huge, even though I haven't seen it. Don't sue me. I'm sorry. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but I was really happy to add him, especially because I already have Steven Lang up here. He was really impressed that I wanted to meet him for VFW. Uh, I guess not many people meet him for something that isn't Cobra Kai or Karate Kid. So he definitely spent a lot more time with me just because I wanted to get his autograph on a VFW thing. And he had, he, he said he almost didn't do the movie because of how graphic it was. And he seemed like he really took his time with everybody. So if you like Cobra Kai and are thinking about meeting Martin Cove, I highly suggest it. Oh, and before I move on to the next autograph, something I wanted to say was Billy Zabka's line, Johnny Lawrence in Cobra Kai and Karate Kid. His line was like four hours long. 
And I'm thinking, okay, so Martin Cove's line's also gonna be long. And Martin Cove's line was maybe 30 minutes, a lot, a lot smaller, but Billy Zabko is definitely one of the more popular people to meet there at the con. This is someone that I already met at a previous con before, but I wanted to get him on something else. Kane Hodder from the podcast Casualty Friday. And when I say that he was surprised that I want him to sign something from Casualty Friday, I mean like he was walking around to different tables showing people that I wanted to meet him for Casualty Friday because he's known as Jason Voorhees in Friday 13, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And also Victor Crowley in the Hatchet franchise. So this was another thing that it was kind of a breath of fresh air of someone wanting to meet him for something that isn't normally what he's met for. Kane Hodder was $60 for an autograph, and the first time I met him, he was only $50 for an autograph, so he went up $10 in two years, which I think $60 is a little bit steep, but at the same time, he does take his time with people, so I think it's a fair price, just he's creeping up. Maybe one day he'll be 70 or something, and I think that's a little crazy. Next person that I met was easily one of my favorites at the cons. I've heard that she's really nice from other people, and when I met her, it was absolutely no exception to that rule. PJ Souls from the movie Halloween. She signed right there. She wrote to Cameron totally, which is kind of her catchphrase with the movie. PJ Souls and then signed Linda. And I already had Nick Castle, who's Michael Myers, Will Sandin, who's Michael Myers at age six, and Sandy Johnson, who's Judith Myers. Uh, unfortunately, not Jamie Lee Curtis, which is my favorite actress, and I would love to get on here someday. But I think it's the poster's really starting to look good. I like the silver on there, and she also had a silver marker, so. You know, I can kind of keep the the same thing, the same color going. She was $30 an autograph and I got a free selfie with her, which $30 for an autograph is cheap on its own, but getting a free auto, uh, free selfie with her is just an unbelievable price. If she's at a con that you're going to, of all the people that I met, I would say she's easily the one that you should go out of your way to meet because she's super nice. She talked to me for like two or three minutes and she had a line so I usually like to try and keep the conversations short, but she definitely likes talking with people. So when you get up there, it's definitely an experience. She was really nice. And now we're kind of moving into the child's play area, which if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of child's play. The child's play franchise is easily my favorite horror movie franchise. And they had a mini reunion at Monster Mania Con. So I was able to get Fiona Durif, who plays Nika in Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky. And Fiona Durif is easily the VIP of this con. She was so nice to me. I paid $40 for her, but it was for a combo. So I got an autograph and I got a picture with her. And on the picture that I had her sign from Curse of Chucky, she wrote to Cameron, wanna play motherfucker? Let's play Fiona Durif. And then she wrote a character named Nika. And I think that came out really good. I don't know how well you can see it because it's kind of dark on dark, but it came out really, really good in person. Um, but yeah, we talked a lot. She asked me where I'm going to school for college. And she talked about how her family is from upstate New York, just like how I am. And yeah, yeah, she was just really, really nice. She took her time with people. She had a pretty long line too, but I honestly think that just because she really wanted to take her time with people. So, and yeah, so if she's at a con and you like Fiona Durif, meet her, cause she's awesome. Next up is Alex Vincent who plays Andy Barclay in Child's Play 1, 2, Curse of Chucky, and Cult of Chucky. He wrote to Cameron, Chucky did it, Alex Vincent, and then wrote his character name, Andy. Uh, and it kind of smudged up here, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I smudged. I'm like, no, it's no big deal, because I think it came, even though it's smudged, I still think it came out really good. And he was really cool. He was $40 in autograph. You got a picture with him, too, so it, it, it was included with the autograph price. And believe it or not, he brought a screen-used Chucky doll to the con. So when you get a picture with them, you get it with a Chucky doll that was used in the movie. And I think that's freaking awesome. So definitely worth going and meeting him, getting an autograph and getting a picture with him just to see the screen use Chucky doll on top of the fact that he's a really cool person. All right, I saved the best for last. I have one more autograph to show you guys. He had a four hour wait and there were lines to get into the overflow lines to his overflow line to his line. So a lot of lines just to meet this guy. I waited four hours for him, but it was totally worth it because I've been dying to meet him. Brad Dourif from the Child's Play franchise. I don't know if you saw it when I showed you guys Alex Vincent, but there he is right there. He signed on Chucky's chest because he voices Chucky. 
He wrote, to Cameron, presto, you're dead, which is my favorite quote from Child's Play 3 and my favorite in the entire franchise. Then he signed Brad Dourif and wrote his character named Chucky. Uh, he didn't talk too much, but he had a four hour line. So I feel like people would get mad if he talked a lot. I also got him to sign this photo. I already had it signed by Jennifer Tilly up here, but then he signed Brad Dourif and then wrote Chucky again right here. And for someone with four hour line, he was a nice guy. He talked to you for a little bit. Uh, he was $50 an autograph, but there was like some weird combo thing. So, uh, well, it, it, the bottom line is I got two autographs and I bought a picture with him and it was $125. But for me, someone who absolutely admires Brad Dourif, it was totally worth it. I got, so I got two autographs and I got a picture and I could not be happier. It was awesome. All right, that's really all I have to show you guys from this con. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.